if if we would know that uh, for which values of q it converges, then we could use this formula and we would have the answer immediately. Yeah. So so this is uh, this is quite useful, but we are not done yet, and uh, we should never forget about about this uh, this condition that this that this series has to converge. Otherwise, this is this is complete uh, complete a nonsense thing. So, for example, we could we could like use the same approach to some of the arithmetic series like this. So, if this would be equal to you, yeah. So then, um, uh, then what what we can do? What we can do is uh, to take Q. Uh, okay. And for example, for example, we can do like multiply it by two, and we would obtain like one. Uh, we would obtain two plus four plus six plus eight plus ten and so on. So uh, this is definitely larger than two plus three plus four and so on. So this is definitely larger than x minus one meaning that x is uh, larger than minus one half uh, okay okay this uh, this works but uh, yeah, maybe maybe a better counter example is one plus two plus four plus uh, eight and so on like the geometric series for q equal two yeah. and from our uh, previous formula we would obtain that this sum is is equal 1 over 1 minus 2 meaning minus 1 it's just, it's just nonsense because we are summing some non-negative numbers which are growing faster and faster so this can be minus 1 this is possible in infinity of course yeah so um, so we need to check whether the series converges or diverges and uh, now we can we can do it in uh, like in uh, many many different ways. So mm, probably the, the simplest way how to how to derive that is uh, from a finite geometric series, meaning just some a zero plus a one and so on to to a n. So um, maybe maybe you uh, know the the formula for this, or we can we can derive it. So we have series one plus q plus q squared plus q cubed and so on to q to n. And uh, so uh, what we what we can do is we can uh, like take this whole thing and uh, write it once again and multiply it by q. Uh, but this is this is nothing else than q plus q squared plus q cubed and so on plus q to n plus q to n plus 1. Yeah, but uh, now if we take a difference of, of these two these two quantities then uh, what, what we obtain is this this was equal q this was equal x then uh, then we have uh, x minus q times x is nothing else than uh, 1 minus q to n plus 1 because all other terms will be eliminated there are uh, at the bo at the top at the and the bottom part so they, they will they will eliminate each other so we will have we have just this meaning this that x is nothing else than 1 minus q to n plus 1 over 1 minus q okay so this is this is our formula we want 
So uh, now what we know, we know that Sn partial sum for the geometric series is equal to um, 1 minus q to n plus 1 over 1 minus q. And the question before was what is the, what is the limit for n going to infinity of, of Sn? Yeah, so what is what is limit for n going to infinity of one minus q to n plus one over one minus one minus q? So um, this thing down here is is just constant, and now uh, the only thing which it depends on is the, is the value of q. So if like the absolute, and uh, we can consider the absolute value here, uh, like we are just uh, considering like the geometric series for the like positive terms, but we, we could like solve it in, in general. So if we consider if, if the absolute value of Q is at most one, then uh, what what it uh, what it uh, says that this this thing. When the n is larger and larger, this goes to zero, meaning that this is going closer and closer to one over one minus q, which is the final sum we wanted, and this is a final number. Now, if if q is equal plus or minus one, then like uh, the thing we we obtain here. Is um, is um, like um, like if if q is equal if q is equal one then uh, this uh, doesn't make any sense because we are like um, divided we are dividing by zero so like our uh, previous uh, derivation was was actually incorrect we would obtain some different derivation so anyway it would tend to it would tend to pass infinity, and if q is minus one, then it's the case that we have plus and minus one in like uh, changing order, like alternating plus minus one, plus one minus one, and so on. And we already discussed that the sum does not exist. Yeah, because like the the, uh, the the sequence of partial sums will be will be always one zero one zero one zero, and the limit here does not exist. So the last case is if the q is larger than one, and in in such a case, uh, this thing here will blow up, will become larger and larger. And uh, therefore, this this sum will be either will not will not exist if like the um, if the q is negative, then it will always like uh, the the sign will alternate in in the or it will be equal infinity. So then it uh, diverges. And also, we know that uh, for q is more than one, it converges. And otherwise, it, it diverges. Okay, so we can can state it as like our first result. So um, a geometric series converges if and only if absolute value of Q is at most smaller, smaller than one. Yeah. So now we were able to, to somewhat characterize all geometric series, and this is like our our basic tool we are going to we are going to use today. So um, what we would like to use to do is using using geometric series to be able to decide whether some other more complicated series converge or diverge, and. Um, we can use uh, the following idea based on, on comparing comparing series. Like imagine the following: we have 
a series a n and we have another series b n yeah and all the numbers a n and b n are are positive or no negative and um so um so uh, now what we know is that b n converges and also we know that b n is larger than a n and maybe maybe everywhere or everywhere or or almost everywhere meaning there can be a few a few exceptions so this this theory implies that also sum of a n converges since basically basically this gives us uh, some kind of comparison between partial sums and so uh, we can use some kind of like property of uh, limits or we can can just just see why by the whole yeah and similarly if some a n diverges yeah and and again a n is smaller than b n then then on the other hand b n diverges so if you would like to prove that some series diverges or converges uh, we just have to find some another appropriate series and uh, we are basically done yeah and we don't need to uh, like uh, exactly like uh, smaller here we uh, for example if uh, like uh, two times a n would be still smaller than b n or, or one half of a n would be still smaller than b n or, or whatever relation like this w would hold then we can we can use it anyway so um, like if a n is uh, somewhat we could, we could write it like this is like the values of a n are dominated by dominated by 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 b n then uh, then we then the similar similar thing will we'll hold that b n converges implies a n converges yeah also if a n has the similar or the same values or almost the same values as b n uh, then uh, both of the series are either converging or diverging. Uh, so, both of the uh, so we just need to we just need to uh, find out how how one of the series is behaving. So um, once again, we can like uh, this define these these comparisons using. Uh, using uh, uh, using limits so what we are going to do we are going to look at the limit for n equal and go attending to infinity of, of a n over over b n and as, as we know from the before um, like this is uh, comparing how large is one sequence growing compared to the other sequence and so um, Basically, uh, what what we are doing here that if if this thing here is equal to constant, then a n is roughly b n, yeah, so, uh, times the times the constant c. So uh, meaning that uh, that a n converges if n only if b n converges like this, and if this limit is equal zero or does hold that uh, a n is is much much uh, smaller than b n b n is larger and larger and it will, it will beat a n so meaning that b n is larger so if b n is converging then a n uh, converges uh, converges too and uh, on the other hand if like a n is um, uh, diverging then, then bn is also diverging and uh, so on if it is uh, similar if this, if this uh, thing here is in, in infinity uh, so um, 
So basically, like uh, using uh, like comparisons, we can we can uh, decide whether one one series uh, converges or, or diverges. Uh, so.